Some of the most interesting celebrity news often is the one that's kept very low-key and private. And if you're a fan of the star-studded Yellowstone show, you're going to be loving this bit that we're about to tell you. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video. Kelly Riley, who she is. For those of you that don't know, Kelly Riley is an English actress born and bred in London. She is a nominee of the prestigious Laurence Olivier Award for her role in After Miss Julie at the Donmar Warehouse. And even if that doesn't jog your memory, you may know her best from her role in Guy Ritchie's iconic adaptation of Sherlock Holmes, where she plays Mary Morstan, the wife of John Watson, Sherlock's best friend. Most recently, she has been garnering praise for her role alongside Kevin Costner, who is perhaps one of the greatest actors of his generation, being a multiple-time Oscar and Emmy nominee. The premise of the show revolves around the genre of a drama and a neo-western, where the main plot of the show involves an intense, ragged, and sometimes dark take into the world of ranchers and their complicated families. She plays the daughter to John Dutton, Kevin Costner, and has been seen to be one of the most prominent supporting characters of the show, with the fans particularly interested in her love life and all her romantic endeavors with the dashing Rip Wheeler. But what if we tell you she isn't just playing a role in the fairy tale, she's living it. Well, what do we know about Kelly Riley's love life? While she mostly remains very private about her personal life and even her work life, from what we found out, Kelly has been successfully navigating her way through love. The 44-year-old actress had been briefly involved with actor Jonah Lowton, the Israeli actor who's mostly known for his roles in Hostages, Foils War, and 24. She was engaged to him from 2007 to 2009 for two years until they broke up for unknown reasons. And perhaps it was because Kelly chose to focus on constructing a concrete career because Kelly had been aware of the fact that she was being used primarily for aesthetic purposes, being typecast into either comedy roles or as the theatrical Viagra, as the Times crudely called it. However, after a series of successful lead and supporting roles in the likes of Eden Lake, Above Suspicion, Sherlock Holmes, Triage, and Me and Orson Welles, she made her mark. And after she had successfully launched herself as an actress in Hollywood, Riley was looking for that stability and connection again, and she found it. This time in the form of her husband, Kyle Bauer, who she tied the knot with in 2012. Pretty wild, isn't it? But what do we know about Kyle Bauer? For those of you curious fans who want to dig deep into Riley's quarter, we got you, as always. Other than being Kelly Ryler's partner in crime, as cheesy as that is to say, his other occupation also includes being a financier in New York, involved in the Wall Street and the investment circles there, having a net worth of something around $700,000 to $800,000. He graduated from Princeton with a bachelor's degree in history, so it is safe to say that he's well learned. And it seems that he is pretty private about his life as well, with not many details of his life being on the internet, other than the fact that he's Kelly Riley's husband not on social media either and maintains a very reserved public image, much like his partner. But their dynamic seems to be very warm and comforting, as rarely seen on Kelly's Instagram. They spend their time relaxing and vacationing on their days off, enjoying their lives together. But he's still very supportive of his wife, showing up alongside her on red carpets and other celebrity work-related events. And the media has been swooning over them since. Now what do we know about Kelly Riley and Kyle Bauer's relationship? Apart from the absolutely swoon-worthy chemistry and the wholesome vibes they give off, it seems that Kelly and Kyle are a match made in heaven. But it always wasn't this way, of course. Back in 2011, when she was filming for Sherlock Holmes 2, she was linked up to be with the director of the movie, Guy Ritchie himself. And that was quite a lot of drama. According to an interview with The Guardian a couple of years ago, she revealed that the UK press was absolutely wild with people showing up to Kelly Riley's parental home, invading her privacy. And Kelly revealed that she was deeply hurt and that it hurts people you love. I was in a relationship that tells you that they had been involved during that time. In the same interview, when she was asked about what her hobbies involved, she hinted that aside from just riding horses, cooking for her loved ones, and going on long walks, she also spends a lot of time jumping between Sussex and Surrey in New York, where my boyfriend lives. And upon realizing that she had revealed this bit, she quickly added that, I'm not saying any more about him, except that he's not an actor, not in the business. What do we know about the Yellowstone star's marriage? Well, aside from the fact that both of them are very private people, the few times we've seen them displaying any kind of PDA is just when you scroll through some of Riley's old Instagram posts. The picture had him and their dog in the middle of what we suppose to be a trekking track with the caption being, 
The mountains are calling and I must go. John Muir, out west again with my love. And it gives off a very peaceful vibe, one that Riley had always wanted. In the same Guardian interview that we mentioned earlier, she also said that she'd like her life to be more pieced together whole. I spend a lot of time across the pond. I spend a lot of my time on airplanes. I'm probably going to do the move soon. I'd like my life to be in one place. And that's exactly what happened, given that it was only a few months later that Riley and Bauer decided they wanted to tie the knot and settle down, which they did in a private ceremony that included just family and close friends in Somerset, UK, where Riley is from. And from the limited pictures that were released, it sure seemed like a beautiful one. Have there been any tensions in their marriage? In today's world, maintaining a healthy work-life balance is something most people just dream of. And it's even more difficult when you have a job as time-consuming and demanding as that of an actor. The emotional, cognitive, and physiological resources that the job demands, often more than not, leaves you almost empty at the end of the day, and the people you love suffer as a result of it. The same was the case with these two lovebirds, as Riley admitted. Back in 2015, while she was promoting her play Old Time, Kelly revealed to the Evening Standard that she had taken a break from her theatrical career, her stage career because of the immense toll that it was taking on her personal relationships and everything surrounding her personal life. I hadn't done a play in eight years. I was doing play after play after play in London, and I couldn't manage a great personal life and do a play, she said. Now I'm married and happy and content, so I thought it was time to see if I could get that balance back. And after overcoming that rough patch in their relationship, they seem to be really happy and content. And although Kelly and Kyle keep their personal life to themselves, in an interview Kelly did tell us that as of now they have shifted to and settled in New York. Which makes sense as Kyle comes from the East Coast. And they both work out of there as well, with Kyle being in the Wall Street circuit and Kelly being in the Broadway theater circuit. She has also said that she favors the vibe of New York as compared to England. In an interview, she revealed that she was terribly homesick, especially with regards to the people there, their humor, the pub culture, friends and family. But she admits that New York is where she made her life, and she likes it that way. Do the couple have any children? This is a rather tough question to answer, considering the fact that we have almost no evidence to support or prove the clause that Riley does indeed have children. Like we mentioned, both of them are very private individuals. Riley hasn't ever spoken about this on record to date, having kids or starting a family. This is even more apparent because her Instagram handle is mostly geared towards showcasing and framing her work, and there hasn't been even a slight mention of that part of her life on any public platform ever. The only thing close to a child that we've seen of theirs is their very adorable golden retriever, who can be seen tagging along with them on most occasions. And that's all that we have for you today, folks, so make sure to check out our other videos on the channel, and don't forget to leave a like. Until then, ciao.